All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Rockets content on this channel. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy it and you have it already. So last night, the Houston Rockets lost to the Portland Trail Blazers 85-77. to Josh Christopher shut down. Rockets weren't going to make the, the final championship game now that they kind of changed the way the, the summer league playoffs work. I actually could have sworn that the Rockets and every other team only had four games in the summer league. We play on we play tomorrow on Saturday, so I don't know if that's. I thought they got rid of the bracket. I thought like maybe we're in the losers bracket. Maybe this is just. I know for a fact this will be our last game, but I'm just kind of confused with the new summer league. But uh, I'm enjoying watching the Rockets play even without Jake up. And um, you know the Rockets went through some struggles last night. They shot 31.7 percent from the field. They shot just 18.4 percent from downtown, along with 27 turnovers. So was it 27? I thought it was like eight. I don't think 27 is. I think there was. I think there was only like eight or nine, maybe 10 turnovers. I don't think 27 is correct. Anyways, last night Jabari. Jatari, Jatari, whatever nickname duo will come up with. We'll come up with something. I do like Jatari. They balled out once again. I mean, Jabari Smith Jr., after a tough first game, it seemed like every single person, even a shit ton, way too many Rocket fans were already writing this cat off. And it's like, bro, we go through this every year. It's just summer league. Relax. You know, just, just take it easy. Enjoy the live Rockets basketball. Enjoy the live basketball you got going on right now. And... Jabari's last three games have been very, very impressive. Last night, he didn't make any threes, which I think actually makes Jabari's night that much more impressive because he ended with 19 points, 10 rebounds, two assists, a block. He's been really reeling in the defensive stats. 7 of 13 from the field, just 0 of 5 from downtown. So, I mean, you basically missed one shot. You went like 7 to 8 last night. From I'm not good at math. You went like 7 and 8 last night without the threes and one thing i've really been saying to you guys you know in the live streams and my videos is literally like don't worry about jabari shooting numbers because he shot 40 percent from downtown in college like there's gonna be an adjustment period but but as far as shooting goes that's not where i don't worry really about jabari smith jr but if i had worries it would definitely not be in how he's shooting in the summer league that's just irrelevant to me i mean you'll see it he there will be guys I would imagine all these rookies on our team, Tari and Jabari, they're going to get hot. They're going to go through cold strokes. Like, they're going to go through it all. That's just kind of Rory McIlroy just drained a phenomenal birdie putt. I'm sorry. It takes time to adjust to the NBA speed, the NBA distance. Things just take time. So Jabari's looking really good. He's looking excellent defensively, especially. I'm loving what I'm seeing from both of these cats. And then you have Tari, who I guess he struggled from shooting the ball last night, but he still was, he still got enough offense going and he was still in the right place at the right time along with Jabari. Both Jabari and Tari last night. And one thing we've really been seeing the last couple of days now that they are, they're, drawn I'm, i don't know if like how many plays are necessarily drawn but they're really facilitating the ball the whole team is passing the ball around especially last night without jacob no disrespect to jacob because he still had good assist numbers but i don't know he, he, he took a lot of shots and so you saw a lot of ball movement last night and i thought jabari and tari were, were in the right place at the right time a lot and especially with even just offensive rebounds Jabari finished with eight offensive rebounds, or sorry, two offensive rebounds, and Tari finished with six. So they finished with eight combined offensive rebounds, and it's just good basketball IQ. It gets me excited for meaningful playing time in this upcoming season. But Tari last night, 17.7 rebounds and assists. He had two steals, sorry, three steals and two block shots, 7 and 19 from the field, 0 of 2 from downtown. So I like our first two draft picks and i loved ty ty washington as well we saw a lot more ty ty last night because of josh christopher being done for the summer league here are his stats eight points six rebounds six assists four steals and a block two of eight from the field two of five from downtown this is almost like a money line right here this upcoming season i i don't like ty ty is not john wall right so Ty Ty to me is going to be more of a, a facilitator. He's going to be a distributor. He's going to be a playmaker. He's going to do all the nitty gritty work that's going to make our offense work. 
I mean, I actually, like, as far as long-term point guard goes, I don't see a reason why Ty Ty Washington eventually won't be a starter in this league at point guard. We'll talk about KPJ and why he hasn't been he hasn't been extended because of finances. And uh, there's a lot of rumors saying you know the Rockets aren't extending him this off season, but we already kind of knew that going into it. So nothing to stress out about there. The good news is the Rockets we have time and we also have options. So we're just gonna see how this season goes. But Ty Ty Washington did a phenomenal job not only on defense, but he did a great job with just everything else on offense. Everything. I guess except like two of eight. It's not like all of them were bad looks. He was making the right pass. He was making plays. He was finding his guys. He was. He just had a good game. Uh, next up, we got Dacia Nix. He had that. I don't really know what. Uh, for some reason, he fought, shot five ten from free throw line, fifty percent. I I really don't know. <sighs> Dacia Nix is so interesting, man. He, Fifteen points last night. Three assists, two steals, three blocks. He's a great, he can shoot threes, and he's a great defender. I I don't know what he was doing with that alley-oop. Basically, he was in the paint, and he had like, he had like two bodies on him. You know, he had like one body on him, and there were like two bodies below him, right by the rim. And for some reason, he tries and gives himself an alley-oop, and it didn't work even like in the slightest of ways, and it never was going to work. I don't know. But then the next possession, I mean, he drains a three. So... The Dacia Nick situation is going to be something that I think we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to make some decisions, man. I don't know what's going on. If you can try to trade away KJ or Eric Gordon or even both, it's going to make that decision a lot easier. But uh, we got a lot of miles to feed right now. It's not looking great for Dacia, I would say. Um, we'll see though. I could really go either way. Maybe I'll make a vid on him. Anthony Lamb continues to just run around on the court. Um, he had a three. Trevor Hudgens, tough shooting night for him. Eric Coleman, three of ten, one of six from downtown, seven rebounds, a block, a steal, ten points. Eric Coleman is is very interesting because I think he might be the guy the Rockets select to have on a two-way contract. So it's going to be interesting. I mean, I like Eric. I like how he can stretch the floor. I feel like he needs to play a little bit more physical. Uh, specifically on defense, but he can corral rebounds, he can stretch the floor, and he is actually super aggressive on the offensive end. So. <laughs> That's it for today, man. Houston, what, 2-2 two and two so far in the summer league, I believe? Do we have records here? We don't have it right, but I know we're 2-2. Two and two. So I guess we have one more game tomorrow. Once again, I, I thought I knew how summer league worked. Uh, evidently, I have no clue. I guess five games makes more sense than four. Um I wouldn't be surprised, though, if, if Jabari got shut down, but we'll see what happens. I wouldn't mind seeing him play one more, one last time until preseason all the way in, like, freaking October, which sucks, but whatever. I'm going to go watch Roy Macron on 18, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and that's really it for today. I'll try and go live to answer some of your guys' questions and just chat Rockets with you guys tonight or tomorrow sometime this weekend. But hit the like button, hit that sub button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.